G'day guys, my name is Don and you're watching my channel Don Astronomy. I'm going to be doing some cleaning today because my telescope's filthy. I have uh, I reviewed my last lot of flats that I was doing and they were shocking. So I thought it's, it's time now, I just can't put it off and stop being lazy and clean the bloody telescope. So the other reason I'm going to clean the telescope today is, is, is not just to, uh, to get all that dust out of my system. So I want to do my sensor. And I've got a sensor cleaning kit for that. Uh, well, it's not a sensor, it's a lens pen kit. Um, that one there, and it's got a few different lens pens. One's for lenses, so I might do my reducer if it needs doing with that. And the other ones, there's one for a filter, which is flat filters. So that'll be better for my actual sensor in my uh, QHY268M. So I will clean everything from the cracked plate back, except for the filters, because they're in the filter drawer, and I did them recently. because. Up until last new moon, I was shooting at f2, so I've now changed everything over. So all those filters are back in my filter wall, so I gave them a, a good clean, so I know they shouldn't be too bad. So the other thing is, um, I've bought a Celestron dew heater, which goes around the corrector plate. And uh, in order, when as part of the installation process, there's a, a cardboard cutout that goes over the corrector plate to protect the corrector plate from any scratching scratches that might happen if you accidentally scratch it while taking out screws uh, and whatnot. So I figured that it's a good time to clean the correct plate before I do that so I'm not rubbing any dirt or pushing any dirt that might be on the correct plate onto it. So that's the other reason I'm going to do that. Now it looks like I'm taking flats but uh, I'm not taking flats. I'm just taking um, some pictures uh, so that I can see all the dust in my image. So as I clean I can take some more pictures and uh, and and see where all my dust is coming from. And uh, hopefully I'll, I'll do a series of uh, before and after each section of I'm cleaning and uh, we can have a look at the, the dust motes and the, and the dust in the system and see if we're getting better. So hope you, hopefully you'll enjoy this video today and uh, let's get to it. Okay, just set up. I'm taking my flats now. And as you can see, um, I thought this was pretty dirty, but um, as you'll find out through the video, um, it's actually not too bad, but there's a couple of those big dust mites down the bottom on the left and the right that uh, have been haunting me for a while. Just slewing my scope now into a position where I can clean it properly. If you're interested in all that contraption that's around the outside of my telescope, I've got previous videos on the automation of my observatory and those are ultrasonic sensors designed to rotate my observatory roof. Okay, so I've got the, um, the scope in a down position at the moment just so that water doesn't run back into the telescope itself. And I've got a mixture, this is a mixture I've made. It's isopropyl alcohol basically with uh, distilled water in it. It's a bit of a mix. And I'll use that. I've, I've already given this a, a pretty good um, blow with my little blower. So I just get as much dust off as you can. And it's a nice warm day today, so I'm hoping that it's going to dry reasonably quick. I'll use some uh, distilled water now, just to get the alcohol off. Okay, there's a bit of residue on there, but there always is. You can never quite get it all the way off, but I'm happy I've got uh, at least all the dust off it. And uh, I'll take another image now, see where we're looking. Well, my corrector plate's clean, but uh, the dust motes are still there, so I presume they're on my sensor or another part of my image train. I'll do the reducer next. Um, if you haven't used this lens pen before, uh, what I'm doing, I, I, I just start by blowing everything off and give it a rub with the brush, and then I'll go over it with the lens pen pad, and it does a fairly good job of it. So it appears cleaning the reducer has now put more dust into the system, so that's interesting. Okay, that's the, um, the filter cleaner there, and it's nice and flat, so I'm hoping, first of all, I'll just blow that any dust that might be away in the road there. Okay, 
give that a go. It might take a few few goes, but we'll see. It looks pretty clean to me. So not much has really changed after um, cleaning the sensor. So I'm going to give it another go. And it appears I've just made things worse by cleaning it again. Um, so this happened a few times. You'll see again uh, my third sensor clean. Introduce more dust motes and then my fourth sensor clean. Finally it was good enough for me to go, okay, I'm happy with that. Oh, well, I got there in the end. Um, that sensor was hard work. I, uh, I finally got those old dust motes that were haunting me for, for ages. Uh, I've always seen them in my flats and, and in my images. So uh, at least I got rid of them, but it took a while. I had to clean that sensor several times quite firmly with that uh, sensor, um, uh, well, the uh, filter cleaner that I got there. Uh, but the problem was I, 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 I was introducing more dust every time I did it. And at times there, there was more dust uh, on the sensor than when I started with, even after the cleaning. So it was almost like I was just moving around, like the Dr. Seuss book where he's got his green stain on his shirt and he tries to clean it out and it gets on the towel and he tries to clean the towel and it gets on something else. Um, so anyway, I've got there in the end and it's, uh, I'm glad it's done and I've cleaned everything else and uh, I know everything's clean now. Uh, it just shows you that it's, it's a good method is pretending like you, you're taking a flat and then having a look, cleaning it and then having a look because you just can't take it for granted. Um, and I clean it quite regularly between sessions. I'll take my camera off before I uh, do uh, an, an image and give it a bit of a clean with the with the pump but it never get got those dust motes that have been hanging around for, for ages. I really needed to, to get on, down on them on my sensor pen quite firmly and get them out. But it's done now and thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.